Uploading a document into Turnitin is quite a simple process. Of course, the first step is to make sure you know which VLE module your Turnitin checkpoints are located in. If you're not sure about this, you can email integrity at york.ac.uk. Now, I use the York module list. Uh, this makes it much easier to navigate through which modules you're on. And there's actually an advert on the VLE homepage that you can use to get this. If you're on a lot of different modules, I suggest you get it. It makes it much easier to find things. Now we're going to have a look at the Turnitin modules here. Now I'm on a number of these different modules, but you'll probably only be on one or maybe two of these. Here we have the departmental checkpoints. But for this tutorial, I will just show you how one department does it. And this is an example of good practice from the Center for Applied Human Rights. The Center for Applied Human Rights routinely check all of their work through Turnitin. So they have a good setup for this in the, in the VLE module here. So their staff come into this site, which all their staff are on, and they go to submission points. So I'm going to show you how to upload a piece of work to this. Now we notice that the center has all of these different Turnitin checkpoints. They have a draft submission point. This may be for formative or PhD work, a dissertation checkpoint for obvious reasons. And then all of their different modules have different Turnitin checkpoints. This makes it very obvious to the administrators and to staff where things are located and where to put things. So I'm just going to show you an example of how they would upload a batch of documents to one of these checkpoints. So the students have submitted all of their work electronically and hopefully they've all made the deadline. And you're going in there just to check that all the students have submitted and then to download all of that work. And this is where Turnitin can come in quite simply and effectively into your process of uh, downloading that work and getting it out to staff. So you've downloaded a batch of assignments. These will be in a zip file when you download them. So what you need to do at this stage is you can just come into Turnitin, into the VLE, come into your Turnitin module, and you can find the module that you want to submit to. So in this case, let's say the Culture and Protest module has had the assignment submitted and they've had an essay to do. You've downloaded the batch from the anonymous assignment checkpoint or just the regular assignment checkpoint. And you just need to go find the module and click on View Complete. This will take you through to this screen here. Now, it might be possible if you're doing a single file upload, an individual student, that you could just enter your details in there and just find the assignment, choose it from this computer and upload it. However, this isn't a single file upload. So you're wanting to upload a batch of documents Make sure that you choose the zip file upload, not the other two. Usually we either use a single file upload for individual work or a zip file upload for a batch of work. Click on zip file upload. It has all the requirements here and then you just choose the file from your computer. Now I've made sure that mine's easy to locate. I've popped it on the desktop and here it is here, module assignments. So you've chosen the file, you can see it written here, and just upload that. You can see here we've got total files here. Now this is just an example, so I'm just using an example zip file here. Um, this has only got two things in it, and we can just click submit there. And then just one more final check there, and submit your submission completed successfully. Click OK. Once you've clicked OK, it will take you back to your submission point screen. Now you can see the culture and protest essay checkpoint here. However, this isn't where you want to go and check your work once you've submitted it. So if you imagine that a member of staff wants to check those essays or you want to have a look at them to just have a look through, see if there's any really high percentages, it's quite a simple process. So you need to come over here to the control panel, come down to course tools, scroll down 
So you're coming down here and it's in alphabetical order, Turnitin Assignments. If you click there, you will have all of these checkpoints. Scroll down again, and then we find the culture and protest essay. Now we click on that, and you have the view assignments page. Now, this is the great thing about Turnitin when it's up when you've uploaded all of those. We will have the anonymous examination number for all of the students here. So this means that you can identify the students and also that staff, if they're marking the work, can identify which piece of work they're marking and come in and have a look at that paper. So the first sort of step in this process would be to just check the number percentages here. We can see it leads from 4% all the way up to 23%. This is quite usual with assignments. Um, I don't see anything really sticking out there. You might see a huge outlier sometimes. You might go through and it jumps up a few percentage points at a time, 9%, 10%, 23%. Then there might be another one of 50% or something like that. That would be very suspicious. And also, we've got green markers here. If it was 50%, it'd be a red marker. So it's color-coded as well, so you can have a quick look through. Um, and then have a look there. So here you don't see anything suspicious and this is pretty usual for most of the class submissions. Sometimes staff are very worried that if they submit batches of work to turn it in that they're going to find loads of plagiarism. Actually that isn't the case um, and in fact Turnitin just provides the assurance that most students are honest and that's really good to see with most of the classes.